Yeah, the Black Mammoth's uh, one of the most famous Swedish player, and Sophie is playing. So she is uh, very famous in the national team and one of the most experienced players uh, as a female in the underwater rugby world. Uh, sh she plays in the Euro League and uh, is most probably the number one Swedish. Uh, And Sophie? Yeah. <laughs> Hola a todo Colombia, perdón, estuve un poquito ayudando a la organización y uh, lo dejé a, a York solo. Thanks so much uh, for uh, helping York. And uh, we have uh, Black Mermaids against Castores. What did I miss? The first uh, half. Who was no. the team that I was dominating? No? This is the first half. This is the first half. Oh, Sweet okay. This Sorry. Is the half. <laughs> Lorena to Earth, Lorena to Earth. <laughs> yeah. You see, uh, Wolf is talking something strange things, so Lorraine is a little bit confused. Sorry. That is my destiny here. <laughs> but, uh, that's the reason I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm invited <laughs> to support uh, si. this uh, intensive <laughs> commentators in these things. I'm very uh, jealous about the uh, nice T-shirts, <laughs> so I don't get one. You don't get <risa> a ver, Colombia, estamos presentes, acabo de llegar, estoy tratando de poniéndome al día y tenemos a las chicas de Suecia que tienen bastante experiencia, pero las chicas de Castores no se quedan atrás, así que vamos a ver cómo se desarrolla este partido, eh, si pueden, o sea, las chicas de Castores hacer el juego así colombiano que es más velocidad de pasar el balón y bueno, Suecia ahí en eso trabaja un poquito más con la fuerza. Um, sí. The difference between uh, Wolf and Reina when Wolf says something I can I make a I can, <laughs> can I make some comments when Lorena is uh, commentating with me half of the things she's saying I don't understand the word <laughs> so I have no clue no I just said that let's <laughs> see how this game is going to develop if Castores that both teams have experience and that uh, Colombian is more on the on the speed side of the game and normally Sweden uh, uh, maybe play a bit more with strength so let's see if they can which team can Uh, bring their game uh, and let's score. Anyway, at the moment uh, the Castor is uh, controlling the ball. Mm. Uh, They are not the losing. Yeah. The, that means uh, uh, the forward checking is not really existing at the, the uh, Swedish side. The yep. Swedish side. Yep. So they control the ball around the goal. There's no s bad passing, so that it's good. Yeah. So this uh, gives them uh, the Swedish team pressure, and if they don't uh, making mistakes, uh, it's a good good uh, start from their side. The thing is, for the Colombian girls, <laughs> is um, it's important that they they force a mistake because the Castores are um, oh uh, Wolf the camera is like um, the middle camera is a little bit kicked. No. No? Yeah, that's the middle camera that is. And yesterday was a little more in the middle, but. Ah. No, no, no. we no. have three cameras. Shall Sorry. I explain you? The system? <laughs> <laughs> I can explain Sorry. you. Sorry. Okay. The, the a ver, Colombia está tratando de venir por el lado cerrado, están haciendo el pase. Lo que estamos viendo es que eh, los medios de eh, Suecia realmente no están atacando demasiado, están viniendo un poquito cada tanto, pero no es válido. Así que las castoras tienen que ver de poder eh, empezar así con las olas de ataque y llegar un poco más al, al arco. What I say in it, um, Colombia is still in possession. I don't care. I don't care what you're explaining. I That can explain by myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see it's basically the same picture that yeah, you see. Yeah, that's no? true, that's, that's, that's true, that's true. But maybe you, you have another opinion than I. Always. <laughs> <laughs> it's really like wall, wall Well, <laughs> it's like for default. It's yeah. like if I say A, you will see C. <laughs> no, I, I think the, 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 the team who is controlling the ball is Castora. Yeah. And But it's a very nice pass, an attack, nice pass. And the, the the defense is not really attacking and keep the room free for the Katoras. Yeah, but the so that, that 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 means at the moment they control the ball in the half of the Swedish girls. Yeah. But 
Exactly, but this is what is missing. I mean, they are not close. Oh, no, now we're talking about it. We have one of the Gasotis right on top of the goalie of the Swedish team and trying to pull her up, but she went up too fast and couldn't really apply strength. Nevertheless, she passed it to the Castores underneath, and the ball was inside. Uno a cero para los Castores. Muy bien, pidiendo la chica del lado cerrado. Si saben los nombres de las jugadoras, me lo pueden decir. Así voy diciendo. Atacó por arriba. Lamentablemente quedó muy elevada y pasó el balón a abajo, que estaba directamente del lado izquierdo. Una esperando, pudo agarrar el balón y la portera como que no pudo hacer nada, no se pudo girar, no pudo defender. La defensora no estaba en posición y metieron el gol. Uh, before that goal happened, we were just saying that if Castores was able to create the pressure and get closer to the basket because they were in control of the ball, but they were not close enough to create the situation. And right as we were trying to say this, the goal happened. So, yeah, so far they're dominating uh, the game and the possession of the ball. If you have the possession of the goal and you have, you're lucky and you find the, the hole and then you have for one zero. So at the moment, there everything is an advantage for yep. for the Castores. They're controlling the ball again, and actually quite near to the goal. Yep. Yeah, now so th fast. Th yep. Th 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 that is, of course, they should not do to attack alone from the top of the goal because then the Swedish team has a chance to defend and bring the ball to the surface, which is then always not very benefit but beneficial for for the for the game or for the ball control ball possession so but again uh, the 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 castors again on the ball control near to the goal yeah but exactly what i just mentioned happened uh, the attack from the top of the goal, the ball goes in a cl uh, cluster on the surface and scrum, but they, they're getting even the ball out. Yep. And okay. again, the attack from the side, so now should be the pass on the side. The pass to the middle is too late, so the Swedish go came between this, but there is not compared to Akar, which utilized uh, the ball position yes. directly for counter attack the Swedish girls go just to the surface yes 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 I mean Akarin is much more effective I, I agree with you um, the Swedish um, for taking are not really aggressive of course they were doing a good job before the goal and keeping them away but then Castores really achieved to get much much closer yeah but and the still they there's yeah they just had the ball they could not bring it over the, the half of uh, the, the Castores yeah. Yep. And it's it's I interesting. That's the it same. Looks, looks that's the same uh, situation that uh, the goal situation, but it, it was not possible to score for the Castores. But yeah, they already <coughs> scored one time. It's it's one forty minutes uh, in the first half, and they control the ball. So if they control the ball, <laughs> now we have some spectators outside waving to us. Yeah, I missed the game of the German girls, but yeah, I've, I've heard that it was a little bit uh, um, with, with like a thriller. <laughs> ok, a ver, las chicas de Colombia están tratando de acercarse a la portería de nuevo. Están en posesión del balón, eso está jokes. genial. Entonces, bueno, tampoco tienen que apurarse demasiado porque ya tienen un gol. ¿Y something? para qué cometer un error? Entonces, eh, esperan la oportunidad, tratan de seguir pasando el balón, siguen moviéndose de la derecha a la izquierda, que es muy el estilo colombiano. Y ahora está pasando por detrás de la defensora, está casi en la portería. Pero bueno, la, la han llevado para arriba, sin embargo, pudo pasar el, el balón para abajo. I'm <laughs> impressed. Yeah, that's uh, the uh, things which I cannot do. As, as, as more you speak Spanish, as faster you get. So, <laughs> even you would say it in German, I would don't get anything. No, 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 no. Um. no. Now, what, what compared to, to the, the game of a car and the Castor, it's game looks wide slow but i think it's so effective they have always the ball control they are well almost oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course they, until you say yeah. it, uh, but they have all the, the always the ball control around the goal uh bringing exact passes it's a free throw against uh, the black mermaids 
uh, but they have an extreme control and they play quite narrow to the goal. Yep. Uh, and that is also where they scored. Very so that's the end of the first half. It's 1-0 for the Castores in blue against the Black Mare Mates in white. And now we have two minutes. The people in the audience are asking if we know who scored and probably the maybe Castores. we can try <laughs> the Castores. <laughs> <laughs> One of the Castores. <coughs> it's still difficult for us to get sometimes the side for a ball. <laughs> Um, if they are uh, attacking and there's like a bulk of people and some of the girls and also some of the male players yesterday that don't have a, a jersey uh, draw a big number on their back and sometimes if they're with a the back to us we still we can see that so that help but when you have two three people together it's difficult so maybe we can find out um, later today we still don't have any a microphone of the area of the of the referees uh, so if any one of you knows Er, and so recognize their players um, and know who is score. Maybe you can help us. Raúl Caro is, is writing different numbers, but I'm not sure if that's related to who score. Or, a ver, Raúl y Daniel, ustedes están escribiendo eh, los uh, números, pero no estoy segura si esos son los que metieron el gol o no. Eh, así que si alguno sabe con precisión porque ha reconocido a la casura que metió el gol, nos avise y si no, bueno, vamos a intentar ver si podemos conseguir esa información. Entonces, a ver. I have, I have to say that since Colombia has been coming to the Champions Cup, which is right now, it's almost like 10 years now, right? Sí. I think, I mean, Colombia was, in the past, Sweden was one of the top three you know was like Germany Norway Sweden sometimes Denmark but since Colombia is coming uh, Sweden went like back a little bit more I mean now it's more Norway Col uh, Colombia and Germany which are a bit stronger teams my the no? the I, I, I consider the experience uh, uh, on, on the national uh, team level are uh, basically the top five games is Sweden, national, uh, yes, uh, uh, Finland, Colombia, Norway, and Germany. And yeah, last no, a national Germany. level, definitely. But with the Black Mermaids, they have been coming since ages, since uh, um, at least maybe have the 15 years or so. And they were normally around the top three, but since Colombia is coming. Uh, it like got the in there. The, the, the work <laughs> in Colombia of underwater rugby is amazing, yeah. great, and uh, you see it on all the levels and uh, and the performance. And uh, I like the quality uh, of the small, fast uh, ladies from Colombia. Their ball control, their yep. intensity, and uh, frozen camera yep. and. Uh, <laughs> Again, frozen camera. It's a, it's a long nasal break category we have here. Uh, we can get some eyes. <laughs> so we see something, nothing, even not the referee. We see the flippers of the Colombian goalkeeper, which yeah. now start uh, to join the attack. Mm, well, now we are coming back to this side of the pool. Uh, apparently number 23 did the pass from the bottom to the I mean from the above to the bottom but uh, we still don't know exactly who score a ver estamos uh, uy um, estamos en la portería de las chicas de castores bueno eso no fue riesgoso pero bueno porque la frenaron bien eh, los medios pero ahora bueno están tratando de salir y se la está complicando las chicas eh, está la portería vacía y están a dos metros eso es una situación un poquito riesgosa confident the Castores uh, the yeah, both the defense and the goalkeeper leaving yeah, the goal yeah, exactly what I without mean. controlling the ball so this was impressive yep. if there was one mistake but they are self confident they are controlling the ball even in the offense now against Sweden having the ball near to the goal and not stopping to uh, attack the goal they are four white and the small Colombian girl goes into this and keep the ball and bring the ball out. Great pass to yep. the bottom. 
On the th on the head of the and goalkeeper, not another pass. That was a close one. Uh, another pass to da uh, from top, controlling the ball. Another pass. Oh, that's pushing with that ball. I know no. she got the ball. Oh, oh ah! almost, almost <laughs> in. I <laughs> for power, this, so the 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 no entrar. But still controlling the ball, and good passes, good presence underwater, heavily attack. So the, the the changes on the goalkeeper getting more more space and something like that. The high pressure on the goal. Four Swedish girls under the water, but then able still bring in the pass. Now the the mermaid's getting the the ball, but it's again uh, four checked. So it's really impressive how they control their offense. And oh, almost, ver, almost está, in. Sí, almost that's in. been really, really so hot right now. I mean, um, but the Sweden is really just making it just on time. But if the Cartores continue like that, they're they are forcing the mistake. They are lucky. Yep. They are more than lucky. Yep. Look, the, 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 the pass is coming really. Oh, the ball um, that they are, oh, she didn't see it. Now she had it. Again, again, pass. Oh. A one, one miss pass in a continuous lot of passes, but they cannot get free out of the pass. Colombia get the ball out of that again, and they're directly attacking. So it's, I think at the moment, the most impressive attack uh, pattern which I saw today. Uh, well controlled, getting a massive solid defense but uh, they are getting open they're getting uh, into the game uh, and it's for for sweden it's almost impossible to get to out get, get yep. out the, yep. the the ball out of the short range and she this is the shoulder. A shoulder. This, this was is the shoulder. <laughs> that was the whole half, half of the back inside yep she was almost totally inside yeah, the, the completely the and and this is e even I mean closer and more uh, the penalty he saw it I think he just uh, charged advan advantage to see what's good we have a penalty against uh, Sweden we saw it here in the camera so um, and it's normal normally when you have this kind of attack uh, and you keep the pressure the pressure and the pressure and eventually you are almost alone as a goalie against the attacker and you know it's going to be a goal you risk it you risk it and you hope th for the best that the referee don't see it okay time out most probably for i don't care <laughs> i don't know it's better better to say i don't know but it's a timeout and uh, Para los castores. Las chicas de castores acaban de forzar el penalti han estado atacando mucho más intensamente, mucho más cerca, mucho más pegado eh, a la portería de las chicas de Suecia, tanto que la portera tuvo que, o sea, metió, no sé si lo hizo a propósito o fue por, por la, o sea, por cómo venía la intensidad del ataque, quedó el 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 ¿cómo es? el hombro metido en el en el en, en el, por favor en la canasta y entonces eh, bueno el referido dio primero ventaja para ver si podían concretar el gol y al ver que no, no pasó llamó el penalti ahora tiene un tiempo fuera para las chicas de castores eh, se ve que bueno para ver por organizarse para ver quién va a ser el penalti igual viene ganando 1 a 0 pero un 2 a 0 ah, como que relajaría un poco más la situación a ver vamos a ver quién va a ser nos dice los números sí dime one second a ver, voy a ver ahora si puedo ver el número. Let's see if we can take a look at the cup. Yep, and no, you can have this, uh, and I can take a look here. I forgot to print it a little bit larger. I I can't read that. I need glasses. I know I can't read it. I'm like I feel, <laughs> I feel old. <laughs> but I'm I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I was yesterday like like I cannot see this. And Wait, give maybe me. It do you see, Lorena? Yeah, tell me. If you're getting older, there's uh, one advantage about that. If experience. You're no, if no. you're getting older, you live longer. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. I mean, yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'll think about it. You mean that I could be dead already, so I'm not. So I have to be happy about it. All right. Thank you. All right. Let me see. 
Uh, let me see if I you can. That uh, Anne Sophie would uh, defend. to defend it. Yep, I would say no, that it's, uh, it's the most. Top yep, it's the most and experience. And as far as I read in the Facebook, she already defended uh, yesterday one penalty. Okay. So I let's didn't see. see it. So she is really the number one Swedish uh, girl. Yeah, she's very, very experienced and a very, very good player. She's really uh, an amazing uh, player. Vamos a ver. Uh, I'm going to read very quickly the number for the Castores. A ver, la gente de Colombia me presta atención. Tenemos la número 2, Sofía. 3, Natalia. 5, Tatiana. 7, Liliana. 8, Selina. 9, Sandra. 10, Mayerly. Eh, 14, Carolina, 16, Erika, 22, Alejandra, 23, Claudia, 31, Maiderellin, 35, Mariana, so 64, Natalie. La número 2, que es Sofía. Y yeah. uh, the shoulder is inside again, right? No, that's okay. Mm. But what, what, what the, the, the Swedish defender has tried to grab the hand of the... the really? You yeah, see yeah, it's the shoulder? Yeah, but the shoulder's in, but the, she, the other is far away. So she's, she's coming uh, from the head side. A ver, si puede. But the, she keeping the ball in control. Ah. Creo que van a repetir. A ver, van a repetir el penalti. No, no, no. What, what happened? A ver, estamos viendo. Uh, we couldn't read. Uh, The discussion, the discussion on the referee. Hmm. And, and I believe it was Anne Sophie uh, holding the penalty. <coughs> Let me go and take a look on the Swedish. Black Mermaid. Uh, Aunt Sophie is the number five. Let's see. So it seems that uh, the penalty will be repeated. So the referee saw something. Time penalty. So time penalty. I'm sorry. I mean it means in the screen. Penalty wide. Ah, it, I, it looks like the um, goalkeeper got uh, two minutes because she did an infraction and that's why it's being repeated, so I, I would say... Yeah, that's if she did, it then yeah. she And that, that's the number four. No, I can't read the... ¿Quién es la chica que está atacando? La ocho, a ver, ocho es Selina. Selina está atacando y está tratando de meterlo por detrás de la espalda. ¡Ey, ese gol para Castores! Excellent. Great job, cool. two zero. Great going down and um, uh, taking the ball around the back and waiting for the chance. Uh, great, uh, great attack. Good job, yep. Good job. B better than the first one because the first castor couldn't make it. I would also would have tried to go on the back and she was too much fighting on yeah, the other head. Yeah, but that was a uh, big. Uh, um, advantage that the, mm -hmm. the, the goalkeeper directly mm -hmm. attacked the open arm and holds the open arm. This was uh, a good chance uh, for for the defender. So that means 2-0 uh, uh, for Castores uh, in black against the uh, Black Mermaids in white, the Swedish team. We have two and a half minutes to play. So you are watching the Champions Cup 2018. This is uh, 30 years in uh, uh, the Champions Cup history and uh, it's great. And uh, when you see all the equipment here established uh, for doing this with 15 men teams and 12 uh, female teams, we will see the Champions Cup over three days. We s will see 68 games uh, in the three days, and we are on game 32. Wow. 
So that means uh, almost half time. Yep, that's correct. We are almost half to do the tournament. And we have got two great weeks of rugby. Last week we had the World Cup of the Juniors. This week we have uh, the Champions Cup. Next weekend is nothing. It's going to be boring. <laughs> but I will be able to sleep no, and shut up. Maybe <laughs> 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 when Wolf came back in the commentary box uh, when we talk about boring. <laughs> I I would recommend uh, uh, maybe this is something uh, for our uh, spectators outside. If they are bored, they can do a wolf bullshit bingo. <laughs> so oh. things things which he always repeat and then publish this uh, things and, and that's normally for other commentators. And then we see how fast na uh, na. Uh, Someone wins the bullshit bingo of Wolf's commentary. Actually, what we are doing now on the on the um, <laughs> on the uh, pool is the uh, oh I can't pronounce the name the Finnish name of this um, one of the Finnish team names. Mm. So people have to say that, and that's a challenge. Yeah, <laughs> 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 and even Wolf did a video with that. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, Castor is uh, controlling the game, attacking. So the Black Mammoths, uh, eight, seven, seven, seven uh, seconds to go. They know they lost the game. The Castors dominated the game, played excellent, uh, good. The game is over. So hey, congratulations two zero. to Colombia. 2-0. <laughs> 2 a 0 para las chicas de Castores, un muy buen partido, han dominado todo el tiempo, al principio eh, la sui, la Suecia, las suecas han podido mantenerlas un poquito más lejos, pero todo el segundo tiempo y ya la última parte del primer tiempo estuvieron siempre casi debajo de la portería, atacando constantemente, forzaron un penalti, el primer gol fue normal, el segundo fue a través de un penalti, 2 a 0 para Castores, and now it's coming up, Piranhas en Amager, um, this is the Danish team of Amager and Piranhas is from Spain. Uh, I Let me go and uh, read the numbers of the players. So, the girls of uh, um, Amager, they are playing with seven people just. Oh. They are, yep, there are quite a few. Let me see. So, I have uh, number two, Pernil Linert. Number six, Mylin Berg. Number 11, Marianne. Number 18, Anna. Number 88, Dina. Number 90, Laila. Number 93, Ida. And number 96, Mari. España, a ver, tenemos a las familias de Pirania mirando. <laughs> Vamos a decir los números, me prestan atención. A ver, número uno, Carmen. Número dos, Rocío. Número tres, Irene. Número cuatro, Carolina. Número cinco, Andrea. Número seis, Elena. Número siete, Laura. Número ocho, Sara. Número nueve, Laura Vallejos. La otra era Laura Sambo. Número diez, Luisa María. Número once, Mariola. Doce, Elisa. Trece, Nagore. Catorce, Laura Vázquez. Tenemos tres, Lauras. Y número quince, Montserrat. Wolf is here. How can I help you? The pool, a ver. Ahí, este. Sí. Yeah, it's working. Hey, we have a pool. Uh, so we can hear uh, at least a little bit the, uh, the horn. Let us know, please, the uh, people in the audience, if it's too loud or if it's okay. So like this, we can all hear the horn. Mr. Fraggle. It was too zero. Let me write down. Okay, Amager, um, they are playing with seven players and Piranhas is playing, I believe, with a full team. A ver, las familias ahí, bueno, si, si reconocen a las jugadoras, a veces eh, tienen, las chicas de Amager tienen los números, las de Piranhas algunas también, vamos a ver si podemos mm, tener, ver, ir viendo qué jugadoras hacen los goles, cómo defienden. But, uh, York, what would you say, what would be the favorites? In the past, normally Denmark has mostly win against um, Spain, if I don't remember wrong, but they are playing with seven. Piranhas came the last time, I believe, two years ago. So I think... Um, I did not see them play the last... Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. 
that day, so I, I cannot comment anything. I that saw that them, uh, but I, I, to be honest, I saw so many games. <laughs> I, I got DC with all of the games uh, I saw. I believe they, they, they even that won against the Paddies. That's the reason I make some notes. I know. I have. If I see the games, uh, the paper from yesterday. I think it's important. Uh, you can see the games. You have an imagination, oh. but uh, to make some keynotes is uh, always. Uh, to ha ah, here it is. It. Hold on a second. Exactly. We have exactly. They won 4-0 against the Singapore team. And um, Where? The yesterday, who? Piranhas. Okay. Piranhas, the girls. And uh, that's the only game they played yesterday. Uh, the girls, right? Because we have Piranhas, the males. And remember, we have 12 teams of women. And uh, they are in four groups of three. Hold on. 